back up to the top and there is no respite. We have another head-to-head -head that looks like a final. Mark McMorris versus Torstein Horgmo, two of the biggest slope-style heavyweights of the noughties and tens, suddenly find themselves in the Alaska backcountry, going head-to-head -head in the Yeti natural selection. Mark McMorris first to drop. I mean, this is where fantasy leagues become a reality. Mark McMorris versus Torstein Horgmo in the Alaskan backcountry. <laughs> That's <laughs> insane. OK, so Mark getting in early onto this big plateau, just straight lining it, pinning it down there. Oh, a beautiful butter. <laughs> just holding on to it. Ambassador, you're spoiling us. Look at that, and then right out onto the nose of this. Super technical. Billy goating his way through there. Right up on top again. McMorris has made a real statement about his big mountain credentials here. Oh yeah, he's navigating the spine so well right now. And just popping a really easy backside 360 right there before going cross court. And he did get the tail grab on it. We haven't had many big, solid, confident grabs today. And I think that means a lot. Well, I think that's one thing definitely in going, oh, into a front side three, holding on no problem right there, is that in this kind of terrain, I mean, usually you would see these riders in a video part in a contest really getting to kind of hold on and yank that grab for an extended period of time. But this kind of terrain makes that so much more difficult. <gasps> oh my Back five goodness. and he holds on. He has to revert out of it, but he held on through that. The judges aren't gonna punish him for that, I don't think. Okay, so this is a great run. He has that top, very technical section. The crowd rejoices and then a litany of solid freestyle hits in the lower section. That ha it, that really was a tiramisu run, wasn't it? It's got a little bit of everything in it. Some super, super tech riding up at the top. And then some spicy freestyle down at the bottom. Definitely pressure put on Torstein now. <laughs> Mikel Bang, the cheer, leading the cheerleaders at the back there as well. That is good. But now we have a Norwegian destroyer, Torstein Horgmo, so talented, so good under pressure, and so strong. He's proved it in Jackson Hole. He's proved it in Boldface. Fourth and fifth places, respectively. And now he's into the semi-final places. He can beat Mark McMorris here. He's on for a natural selection, best ever finish. You see that strategy right there going front one into some very nice switch turns right there. And we know that the judges will be salivating over this. This is exactly what they want to see. And that's where you see, oh, he's going cab five right there. And this is where we see the nature of Torstein's ability to to compete and strategize really, really come through because it's been years since he's been in a bib and it really suits him just great still. Okay, so he's got a heavy top section there. What's he gonna do as he makes his way down into this exposure at the bottom? He's got a big diving board to play with here. Doubles, uses that as a lily pad in the middle. Beautiful line choice. Front side oh! 720, what? Okay, he is putting the pressure on McMorris right now. This is video game stuff. This doesn't happen. You can't do this in a single run. A beautiful what? method into a wonderful butter. Like Wonder oh, God. pretzel oh, God. butter out of a heel side turn into a backside oh, nose butter. Torstein Horgmo has just gone absolutely ham. This is arguably not just some of the best contest riding Alaska's ever seen. This might be some of the best riding. Alaska has ever seen a top to bottom run. No one has ever put a, a run like that on film before. People are losing their minds at the bottom here. Oh my glove. I feel like a bit of my brain's just come out of my nose. Like my mind is melting from yeah. this matchup. I am totally with you. I think expectations were high going into watching this and they just were fully exceeded, melted down, set fire to and thrown away. I mean, Mark McMorris navigating that spine was a thing of beauty. And then he, as you said, spices it up at the bottom. I mean, that was a solid enough run on its own. And then Torstein answers back. So from one into that pocket, links it after all those switch turns to that cab five, and that is bolts. 
He's standing up on top of that. But the front seven, you think he's maybe done on this one. Look at the landing. I mean, that was- that last two seconds. And the method was beautiful. I mean, look at that method. But this might be my favorite, that heel side turn into the butters. That was everything. You had a little bit of everything you want from a video part run that in that. Sandy okay, Kiko. Connor and well, Sandy in the yeah. judges booth now are gonna be backing themselves into a corner Crazy. because to me, that's yeah, high 90s. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, I can see it. It's gotta be above 95. <laughs> Travis, I think, had six yeah, really big hits. If you count the little 180 yeah. setup, it's right. seven tricks. Torstein's even. The switch me. turns, the butter, oh, you're the switch everything. turns. Zero. Run one, Torstein. 95. Ooh, 95. Exactly where we thought it would be. He's, the judges had to leave themselves somewhere to go, but they had to reward that high score of the day so far for Torstein Hogmo. Mark McMorris with it all to do, second run. As a snowboarder, it's a wonderful place to be. Mark McMorris, three bronze medals from the Olympics. He turned up after Supernatural and Ultra Natural, where he got his first taste of backcountry freestyle, he came back to this format eight years later and took the first ever natural selection in Jackson Hole. Now he finds himself in Alaska going up against Torstein Hogmo, a man who is in the form of his life. And worth noting too that we haven't brought up before is that Mark spent the better part of this season hitting park jumps. Like, it's not like he was in the backcountry readying himself for the natural selection tour. He had to worry about a whole other contest. So this this is him shifting his focus and having really no problem at all doing that. Okay, he's got to be a 95. It is going to take, let's not make any bones about this, a oh. very, very special run. Huge butter up the top. Clicks around to switch. So he's taking a leaf out of Torstein and Travis's book with the cab five. Oh, oh. and over the bars. Travis and Torstein haven't, they haven't, it's not that they haven't put a foot wrong, they haven't put a hair out of place right. on those runs. And it means that, that cleanliness is next to godliness up here. Completely, to have runs that are that clean, I mean, this is just flabbergasting, it's, it's, it's immaculate. It's that lovely wildcat. Getting caught up a little bit right there on his toe edge. It looked like he was trying to get barreled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and going front three, holding it together. Oh, not quite. Imagine having the spatial awareness to be able to save something like that. Oh, any, yeah. more, any mortal would have had their head in the snow yeah. <laughs> on that one. And somehow he gave it the sprocking cat and managed to bring it round. <sighs> Pop and a half cap for the fans down at the bottom. Yeah, you get the feeling, I think after that, that hit on the cab five, I think Mark almost let it go at that point. He's like, you know what? I'm not going to take him down here. What a run, though. Dude, I had a rock on the way down Oh, wow, you nailed a rock. Oh, wow. He's got a big hit on the board there. <laughs> so back up to the top. Torstein Hogmo. Do you think he's got a point to prove with natural selection, Mary? I think that Torstein has cemented his legacy in snowboarding time and time again, but he continually not reinvents himself, but pushes beyond what he would have to do to be a legend. It's really incredible. And T-Bird has said that he's, he's almost, with his yoga, with his meditation, he's kind of rediscovered himself from the inside out. And we've certainly seen that. His preparation for these events is very different to everyone else. Huge frontside 180 to open. Yes, no, you're completely right. And you see that in his riding. There's so much composure. He is an alpha individual, but he also is incredibly calm and composed. Okay, so big switch turns down here, done the whole face. Butter. Oh, um, butter into a backside three. That Lovely. Was epic. So just upping the difficulty again, looking for ways that he can turbocharge this run from an already impressive 95. He wants Travis's score back off him, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Where's this going? Lily pad to back one! <laughs> Building on that, what he did the first run, into switch backside three. Hold on to it. Oh, he's gone down hard there. He'd ridden out, I think, far enough, but it's broken the flow. 
And now big back one. Look at this. This is ambistant snowboarding, isn't it? He's barely showing any preference. And the way he's riding that face. Can flick round regular or goofy. It doesn't seem to make much difference. No, he's he's just oh, wow. Oh, the long gun size transition, that one. So it's not going to beat the 95 point score, I don't think. Some really, really good technical riding in there, especially the switch elements, which you can never discount. We've seen the judges prioritizing those. But that 95. I was kneeing knee myself in the face for a bit. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I really hope that doesn't affect him at all. Wow. So Mark McMorris started this run off beautifully, he had that huge butter up at the top and then going for the cab five. And just having a bit of trouble on the landing, unfortunately. And that's what's hard, as you said, it's like he knows what he's up against from that first run score. It's challenging when you, you know, the riding is at this level, having any sort of uh, bobble at all is such a disadvantage. Well, and you said it, it's, oh, he did so well to hold on to that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, He's an incredible snowboarder, such amazing air awareness, and he almost pulled that through. And you said he knew what he was up against. And I think Torstein knew what he was up against. Yes. Like, we, we're getting very, very close to perfection here. Yeah, it's... Let's, let's not beat around the bush. Like, Torstein's previous run and Travis's best run, these are, this is the best snowboarding anyone has ever seen in Alaska. It's, it's backcountry freestyle at its very best. Torstein Hogmo, second highest score of the day so far. Let's see what these second run scores come in at. Gut feeling, Mary, that they, neither of them are going to best those first run scores. I completely agree with you. All right, Sandy, let's hear scores. Here they come. Mark Morris nursing that board. So 76 for Mark McMorris. Okay, yeah, as we suspected, first run scores will stand. Torstein Horgmo will meet Travis Rice in the final.